With Final Fantasy V just around the corner and now available to buy on the Green Man Gaming store and having spent the last weekend at Final Symphony 2 listening to stunning orchestral arrangements of some of the best music from the Final Fantasy series, this week's top 5 is all about stunning compositions from Uematsu and Co. This is a list that's sure to be contentious, and everyone will have their own favourites and musical memories, but that's the point. We want to hear what you think. What are the musical moments from the Final Fantasy series that have stuck with you the most, and why? And while you think about that, here are our top five epic Final Fantasy music tracks. Frankly, there are too many for one list, which is why we've used the word epic, and much of what is to come is comprised of battle music, which isn't really surprising. But a special shout-out needs to go to Terra's theme, surely the most epic world map music that the series has ever had. It's impossible to hear this track without thinking of grand adventure, and quite frankly, I whistle it to myself constantly when walking the streets of London. Final Fantasy XIII might not be to everyone's tastes, but the soundtrack is exceptional, we can agree on that. Masashi Hamauzu wanted to create something catchy yet complex with a prominent battle theme for the game, and that's exactly what we have with Blinded by Light. Most of the series' battle themes lead with strong performances from the brass section, but here the violins are really allowed to soar, and the results are suitably fantastic. so many amazing tracks from Final Fantasy IX to choose from, and the Dark Messenger could easily have made it in here, but Hunter's Chance is a little different. One of the standouts from the Festival of the Hunt, it's an energetic, driving piece that manages to capture the essence of the danger and excitement surrounding the event. Along with the countdown timer, it really delivers a sense of urgency and gets the heart pumping. Long-time Final Fantasy fan, you're obviously a fan of Gilgamesh. He's one of the best characters in the series, and Battle at the Big Bridge, or Clash on the Big Bridge as it's sometimes known, is his liet motif. Its opening is dizzying, a cascade of rapid semi-quavers that sets the fast and furious tone for the rest of the piece. After getting cast into an interdimensional void in Final Fantasy V, Gilgamesh pops up in a number of later games, and as such, this is one of the few tracks to have been reinterpreted and rearranged numerous times over the years. The best version, though, for my money, is probably the orchestral romp played during Distant Worlds. Seriously, it'll make your hair stand on end. It'll make the hairs on your hair stand on end. the most iconic piece of music from any Final Fantasy game, we couldn't get through a list of epic music from the series without talking about Sephiroth. Everything about One Winged Angel is absolutely sublime, and designed to make you soil yourself in awe. There are the timpani drums heralding an incredible fight, strings shrieking in fear, trumpets going mad, and that's all just in the first minute. Then comes the incomprehensible Latin chanting, which just sends shivers down your spine. It rises and falls in epic fashion. And the Advent Children version also has wild, untamed guitar soloing, which is absolutely beautiful. Yes, One Winged Angel might be a little bit overplayed these days, but frankly, it's so brilliant, we can't begrudge it that one single bit.
This, however, is possibly the best, most epic boss theme in the history of boss themes. Dancing Mad represents Uematsu at his very best. It's a 16-minute symphony in four movements, paralleling Kefka's dizzying rise to almost divine power and his fall from grace. The first movement is a grand orchestration, symbolizing Kefka boasting about his power or towering organs and choral vocals. The second is a slightly dissonant descent into villainous madness, a reminder that he's no longer the goofy jester of the early game. No, Kefka is dangerously unhinged. And then comes the third, an almost religious shift, shamelessly borrowed from Takata and Fugue in D minor, except it's all a lie. Kefka doesn't want to ascend to godhood, he's taking the piss. Listening closely reveals Kefka's theme transposed into a different key. He's the same madman he's always been. And then, with the fourth movement, everything comes full circle. What began dancing mad is repeated, but lessened. The organ turns into a a mere shadow of its former self. Kefka is losing. Instead of kicking into a rampant finale of rage and fury, the mood becomes sad. His whole purpose was to build this monument to non-existence, and now he's become just that and it's reflected in the music it's so good it's uematsu's finest moment it's just brilliant there are loads of other tracks we could have picked of course and we're sure many of you will have your own favorite epic final fantasy pieces of music but tell us what your list would look like in the comments we really want to hear from you Elsewhere, we've got loads of Final Fantasy titles on the store. Five, as I said, is just around the corner. There's a 20% voucher in the description, so head over and have a look and have your say as well. I've been Fuzzy Pixels. You've been watching Green Man Gaming. This has been another edition of Top 5. We'll see you same time next week. Until then, cheers, folks. Bye.